Good morning. This is Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media and leader of the Embedded Computing Design Franchise. I am here this morning for our weekly Five Minutes With segment, and this week I'll be talking to Peter Gamble, who is the CTO for Skywork Solutions. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Rich. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. So, uh, as most people know, Skyworks is responsible for the RF subsystem with, within lots of communicating devices. Um, for better or worse, many designers look at that RF subsystem as a simple black box, probably because they have no idea of what it is or how it works, and, and they, and frankly, don't want to get involved in the RF technology. It's sort of like this science that people are just afraid of. Uh, and I'm saying that that's my opinion. Is that a fair characterization of what you guys do and how people view RF? I think what we're seeing is RF is, had traditionally been you know, in radios and smartphones, and now what you're seeing is uh, wireless connection are going into a huge range of devices. I mean, that's sort of the basis of the IoT, right? In a sense, everyone wants anything you own should be battery-powered and wirelessly connected. So certainly we're bringing RF to a new uh, class of products and a new group of engineers. And, you know, I would say people have, maybe not black box is the word, but, you know, RF people have viewed as sensitive or difficult. And there is a trend ourselves and other people in the industry to make it simple, make it simple and easy to add RF connectivity to any device in a way that that can be you know, added in a way which, which, is, which is cost effective, simple, and, uh, and make RF something that really you can add uh, easily to your, to your products. Okay, so now you brought up IoT. Uh, that's a pretty popular subject with, with our audience. Um, where does Skyworks fit into the IoT? I mean, I'm gonna go back to that black box. You guys just enable things, I shouldn't say just, and I apologize. Yeah. You guys enable things to communicate. Um, why is it any different with the IoT? You're, you're allowing things to communicate, but you've been doing that for years anyway. We're doing it for years, but what you're seeing with IoT is a huge proliferation of new devices and new standards. So for sure, you know, Skyworks had been huge in the phone, in smartphones, huge in wirelessly connected laptops, huge in your wireless router or your set-top box in the house. Now you see us in thermostats and light bulbs in your car in appliances. So that's why I said, you know, the IoT, yes, some of the standards are new. Some of the emphasis on low power is new. Uh, companies who had been doing, uh, you know, wireless for a long time are seeing it. But now you're seeing a huge range of new devices where people want to add that wireless connectivity, which is kind of the heart of the, the IoT. And they, you know, it, it, they're coming to companies like Skyworks to say, you know, how do we do that in a way that's simple? Okay. So now let's go back to the, the part that scares people about how, how difficult that, that RF is. And you guys always seem to be coming up with new chemistries to push RF even further. Um, are you at the mercy of the folks who can come up with the new chemistries? I mean, you know, it, is, is there a finite life of each of those chemistries where you have to keep coming up with something better, something better? I, I, I assume by chemistries you're, you're talking about device technology. And, you know, there's, yes. there's a, yes. absolutely. So, you know, essentially battery life matters a lot. And as I said, if you're talking about things that are now, you know, wireless door locks or wireless thermostats that are living off a of battery, you want it to last for 10 years, using your RF efficiently is, is a is a incredibly important. I would say there's still a big roadmap. And one of the things I always say to people is, you know, in the general scope of 5G, which is where a little bit of IoT comes up, one of the things that comes under, sort of underappreciated sometimes, people talk a lot about data rate and virtual reality and augmented reality, but one of the objectives there is, you know, 10 times more battery life. And is there a lot of work there? Yeah, it, it's a hard problem for sure. Is there a lot of work and there are a lot of things going on to extend the battery life? Sure. Part of it, as you said, is, is in devices, and Skyworks is a company, we, we manufacture our own devices, so you know, when you say the chemist, that also means us, and we think we have a very strong roadmap. Uh, part of it is the way you transmit data, and there's an awful lot of work on the protocols to be more efficient in terms of transmitting data. 
And I, I honestly believe that this objective of 10 times more battery life is one of the things that we're working on very hard, and it will occur over the next few years. Okay. So do you see, like, uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about 10 times. Can you put that into some sort of context for me? I mean, I mean, obviously 10 times is 10 times, but what does that mean from an application and an end user perspective? I think right now, people usually react to it in terms of battery life in your phone, right? And, and we think about it, and it actually has sort of deteriorated. As, we, as our phones have become more functional, that battery life has gone down. If you track back to, you know, again, I'm exposing my age, but you track back to maybe, you know, 2001 or 2002, you had a GSM phone. Yeah, it was kind of voice only, but the, the battery lasted sort of a week. Um, today, even, you know, there's a lot of argument back and forth, but, you know, if your battery lasts a day, you're, you're feeling good about it. If you could get that battery life back to a week where you're not living off the charger and you don't have what, people refer to as range anxiety, where, you know, every time, you know, you see it in the airport, right? You go, go look in the airport, you know, everywhere there's an, an electrical outlet, you see a crowd of people gathered around it with all kinds of adapters. So if we can, you know, maybe 10 times so things will last a week, like a phone will last a week, or your wireless door lock will last five years before you have to remember how to change the battery, that's a good user experience. Okay. Well, I definitely look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, we have, and we have, we have used up our five minutes. As you know, five minutes goes very quickly when you have these discussions. Um, I'd like to thank Peter Gamble. He is the CTO for Skyworks, and that was this week's segment of Five Minutes With. Thank you very much, Rich. Thanks for the uh, interest in our products. My pleasure.